Did you at all that Canelo decided to go the Chavez route? No, it's a good business move. It's a good fight for, uh, for, uh, for, the, for themselves. Uh, when we were uh, talking about fighting Frank, we talked about fighting Frank at, at a different rate, only because it was you know, 80,000, 80, 90,000 people in the uh, So oh, it's a great move for Canelo. It's a great move for Chavez. Chavez hasn't really done much and looked good in the last two or three fights. Uh, but he's going to make a lot of money, and so is Canelo. And that's what can, it's about. can you speak to the nine and a half pound difference? So to, to the boxing fans that don't know from, from Canelo moving from 155 to 164 and a half, what's the pluses and the minuses of that? Huh. There is obviously a plus because he didn't have to kill himself to make the 54, 54 pound limit. Uh, the minus is that they didn't put a cap on what Chavez can weigh after the weigh-in. There's neither a cap on Canelo. Uh, uh, the pluses is that Chavez will be a little bit slower and Canelo will be a little bit faster because it's smaller than so there's a lot of good and bad about it, but uh, the fact is that it's happening, and it's happening, and it's good for boxing. There's going to be a lot of, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of pay-per-views, there's a lot of people at the arena, and it's good for us. Maybe not technically, but the, the, most, the most revered and the most adored guy that's, that's carrying our flag is Mexico. Because I know it's going to be a great fight. Your style is just David is uh, probably going to be world champion within, by the end of this year. He's a terrific fighter, a terrific young man, and he's given us the kind of work that we need uh, so that uh, the man doesn't get complacent in the gym. Uh, sometimes we don't have enough good work uh, to show in a fight, and uh, David's given us the kind of rounds that we need. What, what was the last discussion as it relates to Canelo in terms of making that fight? And since Triple G is 35 or 34, I forgive me. He'll be 35 this, uh, this coming April. Maybe. Do you feel a sense of urgency just to compromise and make that fight happen? No. Canelo, if, if, the, if the fight happens, it happens. Okay? If it doesn't happen, that's okay. But I think we've done enough, or he's done enough, to be satisfied with what he has done in his career. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a business, and if it happens, we're all going to make a lot of money. But uh, if we don't, we're not going to... We're still doing okay. Uh, Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> We're still doing okay, and he will have his uh, his records that he's trying to break, and hopefully he matches the, uh, the great Bernard Hopkins' record of 20 defenses. If he doesn't break it, and that's that's more really more that's going to be remembered more than the millions he made. Sure. You mentioned you mentioned that. Who, who would you say has a better resume, Canelo or Triple G, in terms of opponents? I would say Canelo has fought the more known opponents, but Canelo hasn't uh, dominated his division like Triple G has. Does he have a division? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, has there been anybody ever, ever in the history of boxing that has dominated a division like Golovkin is? And you can't tell me this is the only time in history that the division has been weak. Fíjese que ahorita hasta este momento no está hecha. Tenemos uh, dos peleas. Canelo tiene una pelea y nosotros tenemos una pelea que es muy importante y difícil y difíciles. Uh, pero Tom Loeffler y uh, Eric Gómez y Oscar están hablando casi diariamente para tratar de, de, de que se haga la pelea en septiembre. Pero no se sabe todavía. ¿Qué tanto están acordados ya? ¿Están las bolsas? De, de que me, de, que me dice tonta con 80% de tonta. No. Hay quien cree también que pues, Canelo y Lotti le van a estar en otra pelea porque tienen rivales que saben que pueden ganar Canelo y también sí. ganan intelectos, es muy difícil también son peleas difíciles. No podemos hablar de esa pelea hasta que estas se, se terminen, pero son difíciles y, y nosotros queremos la pelea en septiembre, pienso que ellos también, pero hasta que se haga no, no, no sabemos. Oiga, eh, que imaginemos que pierde Canelo y gana Chávez. ¿Le interesa a Lotti a usted también hablar? hablar, hablar? 
una pelea con Chávez? Sí, yo he dicho por muchos años que la pelea de, de Bounce y de mis sueños fue una pelea contra Chávez porque tiene el estilo, pienso que el estilo de él y de Lovken fue una pelea espectacular porque los dos son fajadores. El tamaño también es un estilo parejo. Pero... Bueno, no más un estilo parejo, pero la pelea de Lovken va, va, va a ser difícil para meter a Chávez, aunque tenga pelea como tiene y se hiciera una pelea en una pelea grande. Pero... ¿Qué tanto ha crecido el nombre de Golovkin con la que el se congeló? Yo creo que los dos, los dos nombres han crecido, porque los dos nombres uh, se, se nombran cuando, cuando están hablando de una pelea grande del boxeo, son los dos nombres que usan, usan la, la gente. Me imagino que los dos están ganando por eso.